Electric vehicles. Some people love them, some people hate them, but they are one of the lowest cost forms of clean energy storage. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a new technology that allows you to use your electric vehicle battery as a backup battery for your home. And make sure that you watch till the end because I'm gonna be telling you which companies have already completed successful demonstrations. The smarter way to go solar. Now in today's video, we're talking about vehicle to home or the ability to power your home using your electric vehicle battery. And is this the new standard for home backup? But first, let's talk about why people install backup batteries in the first place. Uh, of course, the first reason is for emergency preparedness reasons. So if you want a secure power source for your home that works independent of the power grid and independent of the fuel supply, solar with batteries are one of the most secure forms of emergency backup power. Uh, and of course the reason is, once you have the system installed, it's truly renewable. You're not really depending on any third parties to provide you, whether it's electricity via the power lines or to have a, uh, let's say the propane company or the natural gas company to provide fuel for your generator, the system can be completely self-contained. So you can solar power your home during daylight hours, charge your excess solar generation into the battery, and then you can run your home off of battery power at nighttime. The next day, the solar panels take over, recharge the battery, and you can repeat that cycle days, weeks, or even months at a time with no outside intervention. Now, of course, the other reason is for self-consumption. Now, if you live in an area where you don't have a one-for-one -one net metering program, then the way you get the best payback on your solar investment is to self-consume from your battery during evening hours. So again, you're powering your home during daylight hours from the solar panels, all of your excess solar generation gets charged into the battery, and then during the evening hours, you can just run off the battery. The next day, the solar panels recharge the battery, and you can repeat that cycle. That way, you don't have to worry about having to buy and sell or trade back and forth with the power company. You don't really care what the rate is because you're just consuming all of your solar energy yourself directly from solar during daytime or from energy charged in the battery at nighttime. And then of course the third reason is for time of use avoidance. You know, for those of you watching from California or Arizona, you know that you can have pretty steep time of use rates depending on what time of day you're consuming electricity. Now those peak rate hours tend to be in the late afternoon, early evening, which also happens to be when it's the hottest part of the day, your air conditioning is working the hardest, and also people are getting home from work, they're cooking dinner, and maybe they're plugging their electric vehicles in to charge. So if you have a home battery, you can just draw from the battery during those peak hours, so you don't have to buy from the power company, and then just wait till after midnight when the rates go down to recharge your battery, or just wait till the next day and the solar panels can recharge the battery for you. By the way, leave a comment if you already have solar and you're thinking about adding an electric vehicle or a home battery backup to your system. So why is vehicle to home technology such a game changer? Well, the first reason is because it's pretty much gonna be the lowest cost per kilowatt hour clean energy storage that you're gonna be able to find. Uh, especially if you've already made the costly investment of purchasing or leasing an electric vehicle, basically you have a giant battery already sitting there in your garage. So as opposed to having to buy separate, more expensive home batteries, why not be able to tap into the energy storage that you already have there? Now, of course, the second reason is because these are very high capacity batteries. You know, a, typic, a typical electric vehicle battery is gonna be between 70 and 125 kilowatt hours. Whereas right now your typical home backup battery is only 10 to 15 kilowatt hours. So basically you're getting four to seven times the amount of energy storage uh, and, and again, if you've already made that investment, it really doesn't cost you anything more other than the cost of the bi-directional charger itself. And that means that if you're installing this system for home backup, you potentially have enough energy in your vehicle to run your home for two, three, or even four days without having to recharge from solar. So these are very high capacity batteries, which is important when you're talking about whole house backup. And that's actually a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Schneider Electric and the new Schneider Home. If you're a contractor or electrician considering which solar and energy management system to offer, then you need to take a look at the new Schneider Home. The Schneider Home provides an all-in-one solution for solar, storage, EV charging, and intelligent load control. The integrated design reduces the total number of components, allowing you to dramatically lower material and labor cost. Schneider Home uses equipment that contractors and electricians already know, like the Square D QO plug-on neutral load center. 
For over 100 years, Schneider has been helping factories and office buildings optimize energy, and now this technology is available for U.S. homes. Schneider Home is the perfect solution for new construction homes or those needing a main panel upgrade. So if you'd like to learn more information, you can go directly to the Schneider Home commercial website or click the link in the description below so you can sign up to be a certified installer right away. Thank you Schneider Electric for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. So what are some of the brands that support bi-directional charging? Well, of course, Tesla has announced it, Rivian, General Motors, Lucid Motors, and a number of others have already came out and announced that they're going to be supporting this bi-directional EV charging or, or V to H vehicle to home technology. So what's the holdup? Well, the issue is we're waiting on standards. You know, there's this negotiation going on between the solar equipment manufacturers and the electric vehicle manufacturers as to exactly what the communication protocols are going to be uh, and exactly what the standards and the limits are going to be. You know, from the electric vehicle manufacturer's perspective, it's kind of like one of these things where it's like, what's, what's in it for them to play nice with the solar equipment companies? I mean, after all, if they allow the solar equipment companies to interface with their vehicle's battery, that's gonna be additional wear and tear, you know, additional cycles on the battery uh, on top of just what would be needed for transportation. Uh, especially, again, if you're going to be using this technology for daily self-consumption, so you don't have to buy and sell back and forth to the power company, you know, you could potentially put thousands of additional cycles on that battery uh, during its lifetime on top of what it would just be for driving you around town. So I think that's the question that we need to answer right now, is how do the two systems interface with each other, how do they communicate, and what are the exact limits that the electric vehicle companies are going to allow? Is, is there a certain limit on the number of uh, charge and, and uh, recharge cycles? Uh, and is there gonna be a, a limit on how, like how deeply the battery can be drained for vehicle to home purposes? But we hope to work all that out in the near future. Now again, like I said, the technology itself is already ready to go. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video on bi-directional EV charging is here, here, go back and watch the previous video where we show a solar equipment company uh, doing successful bi-directional charging and vehicle to home with the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Rivian R1T, uh, as well as the Mercedes-Benz EQB. So this has been a discussion of vehicle to home technology or bi-directional EV charging technology. Is this going to be the new standard for home backup power? Uh, folks, of course, if you're getting good value from these videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. Uh, that way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your recommendations so you can stay up to date with everything. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of looking at different solar or electric vehicle or home battery options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a couple of price quotes and you just need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the best deal and the best equipment, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with a solar surge expert uh, or just use the free online calculator tool so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.